All right, uh, thank you. That was my piece called Serendipity for me, Covey on soprano, and Greg on alto saxophone. So thanks. Hi, everyone. I'm David O'Connell. I'm the head coordinator of Original Night. Uh, thank you all for coming. I can't see any of you, but I'm sh I saw you guys earlier there, and I'm, you know, thank you all for coming. Um, that, was, uh, that was Alex Cruzel, as he said earlier. Um, and our next piece is going to be a piece that Nathan Benedict wrote. And by the way, if you guys don't know, it is actually Nathan Benedict's birthday. So, yeah, yeah. Where, where is he? Nathan, Nathan, come here. Come here. All right. So on the count of three, we're going to give him, we're not going to sing to him, but we're going to give him a big old happy birthday. And it has to be in time. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. All right? So one, two, three. Happy birthday. Yeah. All right. <laughs> okay. So, so, so um, he wrote a piece called Transit, and he's going to talk about it. Um, I'm going to talk about my piece called Transit. Um, well, well, let's see. Uh, I, I didn't really want to write a blues. Yes, uh, it's, a, it's a blues. Um, see, I kind of I kind of tried writing uh, different different tunes, um, but I didn't really like the melody over any of them. I just feel like it didn't fit the chords. So last Friday, um, actually, I made the final decision that I'd just write a blues. Um, so this is my blues called Transit. <laughs> Thank you. 
Welcome Luke Hobum to the stage. Luke Hobin, Hobin, I'm sorry. Um, thank you everyone for coming. And uh, my first piece is Miriam's story. I wrote it after reading A Thousand Splendid Sons, which is a book that I had to, write, uh, had to read for contemporary literature. <laughs>
I like that song. Um, the next song is going to be, this is one of my own pieces. This is called At the End of Everything. And personally, I don't like the title of it. Um, <laughs> I'm going to drop a little bit of philosophy. In my opinion, music is, the whole point of why people write music is to express things that words can't express. So I find it kind of ironic that the first thing that we do once we stop writing something is put a whole bunch of words to, to, um, you know, to describe it as so people can automatically profile it. Um, <laughs> but anyway, this is my piece and it's a ballad. Uh, and please enjoy.
I'd like to welcome Julie Howe to the, ship, to, to, to the stage. Okay. I'm gonna sing a song for you today. Kind of the opposite of what David was saying. My song, ooh, actually started with the words, so sorry to disprove your theory. <laughs> but um, anyway, uh, yeah, I wrote it this winter. It's about losing things and finding other things. And it's called Falling.
darkness had swallowed the dawn And the two, they just walked on and on Through that long love of night Without any light But the day came and her lover was gone Now it's wind dark and To send the sword as tight on her soul Her teardrop heart She remembered his promise To keep her always close by his side Through the dark and the rain The wind and the pain But the daylight discovered his lie Then the weeks turned to months turned to years But her lover, he never returned Poor girl, she cried as she walked on alone her frozen tears hardened to stone. It's winter again. She turns her back on the cold. Her icy heart it is shattering. Broken by the lies it's been told. Long came lover after lover, but none could break through the frosted snow. She began to push them away, scared to leave the familiar cold. Then a man came into her life, behind his eyes flickered a fiery soul. This warmth spread through her veins, melting her I have to give a little credit to Charlie. He made that, he made that arrangement out of nothing from me, so thank you. For, for those of you who don't know about too much about Original Night, this is actually an event that doesn't, it doesn't just kind of come out of the blue. It's, um, it's an all-year event. We've actually started since the beginning of the school year. And um, it starts with an informational meeting, just like everything starts. Um, and it, <laughs> uh, and and then um, the first part part of the year, students uh, write the pieces and kind of figure out what they want to do, whether it's a solo or a full ensemble, or you know, just kind of figure out what they really want to write. And then the second half of the year is the rehearsal period of everything. And that's where you know the students get an ensemble together and start rehearsing, and then it kind of collides right here with the event, and and this is pretty cool. Um, but for for our next piece, I'd like to welcome my dear friend Emma Shibley uh, to the stage. Thanks. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous, <laughs> but I hope you enjoy my piece. It is called Wistful and it's just a piano and myself. I wrote this in seventh grade, and since then, I've really, I've really just turned to it and just kind of messed around, and it's different every time, and I really think that music, uh, for me personally, I think that it's really for catharsis, just like pouring your emotions into it and getting them out there so you don't have to feel the hurt anymore. So um, with the title, this is kind of about longing for things. Thank you.
So for our next piece, we kind of have a special guest. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is Andy Gata, and he does not go to Centerville. However, he is a phenomenal pianist and a really, really awesome songwriter. So I want him to be a part of the event. Um, so, 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 so this is Andy's piece, and he has a mic over there, but, but he's going to talk about it. All right, so as he said, I'm Andy Kata. I do not attend the Centerville High School, uh, partly due to my residence in Kettering. I don't know. Uh, but I go to Alter High School. Um, I'm a junior there. And uh, this song I wrote uh, over the summer. And I've kind of, I was never fully in love with it, and I don't know, I never gave it a title, probably because I wasn't too in love with it. And David called me on Tuesday, and he's like, I'm printing the program, what's the title? And so I, uh, <laughs> I was like, well, uh, I, I honestly, I, I can't say I have a title. And so I uh, opened the dictionary.com app on my phone, and the word of the day was saccharin. And that is the title of this song. And it's kind of ironic. <laughs> because the, the, the definition of the, of the word kind of fits the idea. It means like uh, overly sweet and, and sentimental. So I, I don't know, I'm, I mean, I'm not that sweet or sentimental, but all right, this is saccharin. <clears throat> Thank you. 
Maybe two months is too long to get strung along. Waiting for the perfect one. Some say it's wrong, but let's say it's right. You know it feels so nice. So nice So nice Yeah, isn't he talented? Woo! Um, uh, so, so we're going to take about um, a 10-minute intermission now, um, but, but we'll be back. And while I have you guys all, um, if you guys like what you are hearing tonight, um, the Original Nights, they, we do have Original night CDs. So if you are interested, talk to Pete Washburn. He's right down there in the center by the light in the mix board. Um, additionally, um, in the spirit of, of Original Night, our, our group is actually the Odyssey, the people who've been playing all together um, <laughs> multiple times. Uh, but we actually have our own original CD that we recorded over the summer, and it's called Terrapin Village. But just come talk to one of us. We'll be in the back corner over there if you guys are interested in buying a CD. But thank you, and I'll see you in 10 minutes. This piece has been really neat to see it kind of evolve and how it's gone from kind of me writing uh, just a bass line and some chords and some words to, to really a piece that's, that's become a lot more than the uh, notes and rhythms on the page. And um, I've had a lot of help in uh, writing it from a lot of these guys. Emma, in particular, the pianist, has uh, helped with some of the bridge stuff and some of the other complexities, but I, I think it's really neat to see how everybody's really taken it to more than just what I've given them. And so this is moving on. Thank you. 
glory would not be passed by. But right now it still needs you. And I, I am losing my mind because I'm afraid that you're gonna tell me that you'll leave me behind. Cause I couldn't take you telling me to be moving on. So for this next piece, I'd like to welcome Joe Otto to the stage. I wrote a song called Tears, uh, and I wrote it as an experiment, sort of. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm a bass singer, and so <laughs> bass singers usually don't get the melody too often, so I did that for myself. Good. 
So, so this is a piece that the saxophonist in, um, in our group wrote, um, Covey Emmer. And I'm going to invite Covey to talk about it a little bit. Yeah. All right. Uh, hi. Uh, I'm Covey Emmer. Uh, I wrote a little ballad. It's, uh, uh, there's not much to say about it, really. So uh, we're just going to play it, actually. All right.
So for those of you who don't know, Cameron Carr is in a really sweet band called Cameron Carmichael, right? Yeah, and they're really, really good. And I saw them actually this past weekend, and they are great. Um, and we're going to invite Cameron up to play some solo stuff. His band isn't here, unfortunately. They, they actually had, um, they actually had an, um, uh, uh, um, another gig, you know? <laughs> Show business. So, so Cameron's just going to come up solo. guys. <laughs> thanks to David for the introduction, and thanks for sitting through me moving around microphones. I'm going to play a song now called No Worries. And there is a no that will never leave my ear. Stop, always keep me here. But some there's no left hope. You'll just jump or you'll just dive. Just smile. Simp not your life. If I could be anywhere, I'd be right here. If I could be anywhere, I'd be right here. I finally found a call my There are no worries, I am going out the summer everywhere I want to go There are things I've come to know, nothing ever stays the same Things that always seem to change, but I am not one to pick and choose After all, those with everything have everything to lose Those with everything have everything to lose If I could be anywhere, I'd be right here Find it fancy of my own. And the days they often move too fast. Question how long this will last. Things cannot stay this way forever. But I refuse to let this be the end. If I know I'll fall, I know I'll fall again. I won't stay down forever. It all started as just wasting time. Though I am proud to say that I'm fine. Don't you spend a single second looking in your rearview mirror if you're living up past. They are not in here. If I could be anywhere, I'd be right here. I finally found this of my own. Hello, okay, um, it's me again, Luke Coven. <laughs> uh, for my second piece, I'm playing Crystal Blizzard, and my inspiration for this one is a snow blizzard. <laughs> <laughs> it starts out light, like a snowfall, and then becomes more heavy and in-depth, and at the end, it's just a single snowflake falling.
So I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> All right, so for, for those of you who don't know, I am a senior. Um, I'm a senior this year, and I'm going off to college. I'm going to study uh, jazz percussion at uh, uh, the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music. Um, thank you. Um, however, I had to, I had to delegate um, some people to, to take over original night next year, and I'd like to announce those people at this time. So the, um, the co, oh, it got so quiet. Do you feel that power? Oh. Maybe, maybe I'll do a dance or something just so, so you guys can wait more. <laughs> All right, so, so the co-coordinators of Original Night next year are going to be Emma Shibley and, and Covey Emmert. Yeah. yeah. So, so there are two more pieces left on the program, um, and the next one is actually my own piece. Um, and this is actually, this piece is about my worst day of school. Um, <laughs> and it, I don't know, I mean, like, there was nothing bad in particular, it was just like one of the worst days. Like, I forgot to have coffee in the morning, so I had a massive headache. Um, I, like, failed two tests, it was terrible. So I wrote a song, and it's a pretty cool song. So I guess, all in all, it was worth it. <laughs> this this is this is just one of those days Thank you. 
Thank you once again. Um, so before I, I do our last song, I, I need to do some shout outs. Um, so first of all, Mr. Baramedi and Mr. Baker, they're great band directors and they're kind of our, uh, you know, like, like, like I'm, I'm part of the band department. So, so, so they help me out with a lot of stuff. So thanks. Yeah, yeah, give them a shout out. They're somewhere over here. Um, Bill Burns, also, he's a massive help, uh, huge, huge inspiration, huge, um, uh, you know, he's just, he's just a great person. I like Bill. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if she's here, but uh, Christine Gopelin, uh, she is kind of, uh, I don't know if you guys know, but this is sponsored by the, by the Centerville Arts Commission, and they do cool things, like they um, have Pete um, record this whole thing so you guys can listen to it. And also, this thing is also being recorded. The cameras that you see, those are not over-dedicated parents. Those are actually, this is actually being filmed um, by the Miami Valley Cable Company. And it will be airing, uh, can I get a rough estimate? Two weeks. All right, so, and, be, and I'll post information on Facebook if you guys are friends with me. Um, but, but I'll spread the word about that. Um, if, if not, you guys should all friend request me. 
<laughs> but um, but I'll I'll post I'll I'll uh, I'll get the information out about that, and but it'll air in about two weeks. Once again, there are CDs for sale, um, and we're going to do one more song, and this is Nate's song. Uh, I hope I'm not. Oh yes. All by the way, I'd also like to thank uh, Mrs. Bernard and uh, Mr. Spaulding because all of the arts um, department is really is involved in this, and a lot of the people like I. Pretty sure, with the exception of a few people, you know, they're, uh, almost all of them comes from the arts department. And one of the, you know, the fine arts at Centerville is really phenomenal. So it's really great to have the support of a entire department, um, you know, really being creative. So thank you. Yeah. <laughs> all right, but. Everyone drive safely and please enjoy. This is Nathan Benedict. Uh, hey again. Um, well, first of all, this is a piece that I actually wrote about a year ago. Um, and uh, I won't talk for very long about the piece. But um, it is actually on our CD. Um, so if you like what you hear with this song, I believe it's the first track on that CD. So as soon as you pop that in your CD player, you'll hear it again. Um, <laughs> it's a black moonlight. Thank you. 
Thank you once again. Drive safely.